Captain Carlos Lima of CNC Aqua Adventures in Key Largo with the fishing forecast for the month of December when we celebrate the holidays. Let me be the first to wish you a very happy holiday season on behalf of all of us at CNC Aqua Adventures and we wish you a very happy, prosperous and healthy new year. The biggest factor when it comes to fishing in December is the weather. Cold fronts start coming through on a more regular basis and you really have to keep an eye out for those rough seas right after the front passes. Remember, a few days before the front or a few days after is when we have the best seas and the best conditions to go fishing. If you're interested in a fishing charter in the Keys, be sure to look us up. CNC Aqua Adventures 305-731-5611 or go to our website cncaquaadventures.com. We'll be glad to take you out for a fun day of fishing in the Upper Keys. If you can head out to the deeper water, the Wahoos are going to be around this time of the year. Especially closer in, been a lot of reports, especially in the Upper Keys, between 100 to 200 feet of water of people getting into Wahoos while trolling or drifting with live baits. If you get a hit while trolling for Wahoo, remember to mark the spot and go back as they do tend to school. The Blackfin Tuna are around. You don't have to go too far off the reef to find them and on those days that you don't find them, go out and head to the humps in the Keys, there's going to be blackfin tuna around. Closer to the drop off, the kingfish will be there. Remember all these species that I've been mentioning are all associated with the cooler weather months. Try and use a light wire if possible because the kingfish have those sharp teeth and if you can drift around with live bait or you can troll especially with the bigger spoons. You can find some mahi out there, you gotta go around and look for them. Look for any floating debris as always, so the birds will take you to where the mahi are at. On the reef, the grouper bite is really good right now. They tend to get a little closer as the water cools down. Remember, you only have until December 31st to catch grouper. After that, the season closes all the way to May 1st. Live bait on the bottom is best for grouper. Ballyhoo or speedos are the top choice. Mangrove snappers are around also on the reef. Look for them on the bottom with cut bait. Sometimes when you're yellow tailing, it pays to put bait on the bottom as the mangroves will be there. If you have live bait behind the boat when you're yellow tailing, put that on the bottom for the big months. The tails will be bigger this time of year too, and they tend to get a little closer to the reef as the water cools down. If it gets too cold, you may have to go out a little deeper. In the flats, when the water warms up after a front, there's going to be some bonefish around, some barracudas will be there, as well as small sharks. Live bait is the bait of choice for the bonefish. Shrimp and small crabs will do the trick. If you want to tangle with a barracuda, cast some lures, especially near the drop-offs where the channels are next to the flats. They'll be there. Crank that bait as fast as you can. You'll get a hookup on a cuda in no time. In the back country, near Flamingo and that whole area back there, sea trout will be around the flats and so will the redfish. Snook will be harder to find as they get into the creek to spend the winter months back there. There will be some small tarpon around also. In Biscayne Bay, the same thing as with the Keys. Look for the oceanside flats for bonefish. Cast some live bait in there, you'll get some nice ones this time of the year. If it's too rough to go out, remember to fish the finger channels in Biscayne Bay. All kinds of fish in there. Anchor up in one of the channels. Get as far away from Stiltsville as you can get. Be careful navigating in there because it gets kind of shallow. But some of those channels are as deep as 15 feet. Anchor up, start chumming, and you'll get all kinds of fish behind the boat. Even if it's rough outside, it should still be very comfortable in that area. Fresh water, we had some rain in late November, but once that water starts to drain off, the bass will be around in the deeper holes. They like to feed during the daylight hours once the sun warms the water up a little bit. Also this time of year, the shrimp start to run. Shrimping is a lot of fun for the whole family. All you need is a net, you just go into the bays, look for any of the creeks, and the shrimp will come around, put a nice big light out, get your net, get the kids involved, and remember the limit is one five gallon bucket of shrimp per vessel. The new moon is going to be on the 12th of December, great fishing, the tides will be moving, the current should be ripping out on the reef, take the time out to head out on that date, and the full moon will be on the 26th of December. This has been Captain Carlos Lima of CNC Aqua Adventures in Key Largo with the fishing forecast for the month of December. <laughs>